Are you trying to get your snow globes to look like this, but instead they look like this? Well, you are not alone, and if you follow along, I will show you how to get rid of that bubble. This is what it looks like from the bottom, and it honestly doesn't look like too much, but from that previous perspective, there is a large air bubble. So let's get into it. The first thing we're gonna do is overfill our tumbler. Just like this, it's gonna beat up on the top. That's exactly what we want. We're gonna take this syringe and we are going to suck the air out. Notice how the tip is bent. You do want a bent tip. Then just slide the end into the air pocket and pull. This is a great angle to show you the solution going inside the tumbler. And as you can tell by my syringe, there's no solution in it. I just pulled out the air. We're gonna repeat this process until all the air is pulled. Overfill with solution, insert the needle into the air pocket and pull. Here it is on repeat. And now a close up of the air being sucked out. Notice how the tip is in an air pocket. So again, we're just gonna pull on the end of our syringe. Solution goes in, air comes out. And then we literally just repeat this over and over until all of the air is removed. And while I did edit out some of me just standing around, this is real time view of me displacing solution with air in this snow globe tumbler. As you get to the end and the air bubble gets smaller, it's a little bit harder to chase it around with the tip of the needle, but it's totally doable. And I'm gonna show you some up close um, images of the air bubbles being sucked out. It's really kind of satisfying. You just wanna make sure that you're only extracting the air and you're not pulling the solution out because you're basically defeating the whole purpose of it at that point. In addition to that, you don't want to over pull because you can see I just pulled more than solution I had and it brought a new air pocket inside. So now I have to get rid of that. And this angle is really good to see the solution going in. Um, I'll change it up a little bit in a second so that you can see the air pockets coming out. And the needle I'm using right here is a two inch um, and it's a center hole, but you may need something a little bit larger if it's off to the side. Now here's me extracting that air bubble and another one. Whoop. Now this is the best way I found for displacing air with solution inside these snow globe tumblers. If you found this helpful, share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I hope you found this helpful. Happy crafting.